Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. So every day, we're getting closer and closer to Halloween, so I want to head in on Maple Lodge to celebrate, because it really feels like a Halloween map for some reason, I guess because it's just a creepy old campsite. But we're going in on Professional, and I do know where the cursed items are, <laughs> but guess what? I guess I've been used a nightmare and I didn't think to look for the breaker. But I guess I'll just look for it, because I know a couple spots for it now. Maybe it's right here, and of course it's not. But I'm going to look around for the cursed item, and I guess the breaker now, and hopefully find this ghost as well. Now the music box. I think you- I know it was around here. If I don't see it, then it's not here. Okay, I remember there being another spot here. Let's run around outside, because I can look for the tarot cards, and also maybe hear the ghost if it's over here. Give us a sign. Is anyone over here? Here's some playing cards, and yes, in the middle is the tarot cards. So I'm gonna pull this over here and take a photo. Make sure this is good. Okay, well... Rustling in the woods. Alright, I'm gonna get back to walking around, and yes, the breaker was here. I think those are the only locations for it on this map. Okay, there we go. Now we're on. Okay, so, you know, I've been using the Tier 3... What is it? Oh, this is a hiding spot? Ah, it's not really the best hiding spot. But I guess it's could be doable. That's weird. I've never noticed that one. But I might end up using the tier three thermometer here, and maybe it'll help me out a lot. I got lucky, and it's just normal weather, I believe. Uh, if I come in here and it's raining, I will just go ahead and do it. But I hate it when it's actually raining here. This is one hiding spot, but let me take a lap around the map. With this map, I almost feel like it's better to just run away from the ghost. I mean, I will try and remember some hiding spots around here. Okay, does anything in here look thrown? Not really. There's a branch breaking. Maybe I will just go get the thermometer if I'm going to be walking around like this. <gasps> oh my god, dude. Slendy, why do you do this to me? I saw it for a split second, and as soon as I looked at him, he made me jump. <laughs> I noticed these wooden pillars, this wooden fence here. But he has to be standing over it. Jesus Christ. Okay, well the only thing over here really was Slendy. I don't hear anything, see anything out of place. So, I'm thinking maybe it was around the cabin. I didn't walk into the cabin. Or maybe it's here. <laughs> also the bone. Well, we have bone. Maybe we could get a perfect game, but... I don't know, maybe I really should just focus on getting the ghost right on one of these larger maps. This is a medium map now. Okay. <gasps> Oh, I was just about to say, let's go get thermometer. This was the one area I haven't been by. I don't trust this photo. Okay, we're good. I, I thought this was going to block it. No EMF 2. Okay, that was in this tent. Am I going to see my breath in this tent specifically? So it was in this little area. I thought it was either going to be in the cabin or in here. Ah, there's the EMF 5 again. What got thrown? It must have been on... Uh, it's touching something, but let me put in EMF5 so I don't forget. Now we're on professional, which I really need to remember when I go back and forth here. So I am going to end up getting the three evidence. I don't know what it's throwing. I don't, also don't... It must be on the other side of this, right? Maybe it's touching this, but... Oh, maybe it is just touching this and it sounds like a throw. Okay, not knowing any... You're really killing my sanity. Maybe I should... I mean, I've been in the dark this whole time. Let's... Huh. Alright, I'm going to throw my stuff up on here, and I'm going to try and leave if it doesn't hunt me right here. So, uh, okay, again, we're unprofessional, so let me enjoy having my monitors. Let's see what sanity we're at. See, yeah, yeah that is some crazy activity. And we're pretty close, so do we just go crazy and go in with a smudge and try and get... I'm going to go for the objectives. I'm going to take some smudges in there and just get hunted. And, oh god, I don't really even know. We do have the MF5, which is nice. So it could... Oh, wow, that does rule out a lot. Raiju... Really, the Raiju's the only one that's going to be scary if it's in the electricity. Okay, there is a hiding spot out in the uh, campsite. So maybe I'll smudge around there. Oh, I'm going to turn my headlamp on. Now, did you turn off the breaker? No, but you did turn off the light in there. God, you can see Slendy from so far away. Now, what about this hiding spot? I have liked this one in the past, but it's, I don't know, could be a little risky. 
If I only have to survive one hunt, maybe I'll do it. I mean, the thing is, I need to get down to hunt range. I'm gonna drop one. I'm gonna use my headlight. I really don't know what I should do here. I'm afraid the if it's gonna be a Raijun, I'm just gonna get killed. The thing about this area, it could technically this be it room, be its room, or it's out here. I think all of this would be considered one outside area, and then I think in there is considered a room. So I need to. I don't see my breath, which is very concerning. What about in here? So yeah, I'm in the light. I guess I wanted one more event. If I'm gonna get this lucky, let's drop the smudges out here. So that way I can just run to them. Let me go get some more equipment in there while I wait for my sanity to drain. Okay, I really should be careful here. I'm gonna have to turn off the light. I don't know where I should even scan. Let's not focus on the ghost orbs yet. I'm gonna put this down just kinda in the middle and hope you do something with it. Now what is the temperature in here? Under 10. What about in here? I should not be running. It's a little colder. Oh! See, I wish I had UV for that. You really were kind of enjoying over here more, but maybe it just depends on where you're roaming. Because I think this is really all your room. This would have been a hiding spot, but I don't think I'm going to trust it in there. I guess it's just having a hard time getting really cold around here. See? This counts as a different room. But the rooms that were cooler were here and in there. So it, we at least know it's not going to be really in there, but it still could roam that way. Yeah, we don't really need that. I should go get UV. We're not getting hunted. So let me just go get more equipment and then just wait for this hunt inevitably. Oh my god, we are under 50. And it hasn't hunted early with electricity being in there, so I don't think it's a Raiju. It's not an Oni because we saw the air ball. So I want the UV in case it touches the door, and I really should bring the salt. But maybe we'll get two dots in there, and then we'll come back with spirit box, and then... Well, I have UV. We'll come back for the spirit box and then salt, in case I don't get the UV. I don't know what else I would take. I want to take both these dots just to put them in there. I gotta remember, I am in hunt range now. So if I can get this down, and I'm gonna leave it on. God, don't run. Is that a hunt? I'm gonna put it here and just let it scan back and forth. Maybe we'll get lucky and just see dots for a moment. Now I could have got the other book in here. What are you doing? Oh, you're on this side of the room now. I cannot sprint until I need to run out here. You turn off the breaker. You're... Okay, if you're gonna turn off the breaker, I'm gonna need my big light. The breaker, oh, the breaker was way over there. Let's survive this hunt. And then I'll worry about getting the breaker back on. I'm at the point where we only have the tarot card, so I mean, we could do that for fun, but... I won't, it's, oh, he seems to be kind of normal speed. Let's get him right here. Oh, wow. Uh, I hope this broke line of sight. Well, he didn't seem too aggressive, let me tell you. He didn't speed up that much when he saw me. Well, let me get the salt in here for Wraith. I'm gonna say it's not a Raiju, considering it was going through the dots. Maybe it's the weird fingerprints, so we didn't see it shapeshift, so maybe it was not Obake. Please don't come over here. I have beans. Or tomato soup and beans. Sausage and beans. So, wow. For a medium hunt, or a medium map hunt, this is longer than I would expect. I'm used to short map hunts. <laughs> I'm not used to that being there either. Let me take a walk outside. Oh my god, you're doing stuff in this area. Let me make sure I'm not taking anything with me. <laughs> See, ooh, I want to take that, but if I'm... I just gotta remember, if you leave, just drop your inventory at least at the door. Okay, yeah, sanity is gone. We have all the objectives. So what I'm going to do is take Sanity, and then at the end I think I think I'm going to try and do a good game here, and the next round I'm going to play with the first item a bit. But I want to have a good game here, because like I said, I am trying to level up to get ready for Halloween and the, the update. So Sanity is very good, and I still have two more bottles. 
So spirit box, let's get the salt in there for Wraith. And then yeah, we'll try and get UV. And now I don't need to worry about hunts, so again, this should be now kind of fun mode rather than scary mode. And yes, the breaker is still off, so I'm gonna throw this stuff here. Maybe I'll just go... I'm not even gonna take my main light, and my sanity is so high I'm not gonna get hunted, so let me just go turn the breaker back on. Alright, we're already... <laughs> that... that had to have been an event. See what I mean? Ghost events are weird. When we had the Banshee, I guess it did just follow me, because... And then did a ghost event, but it's just weird how sometimes a ghost can do a ghost event kind of away from its room. Because it did it out there, not really in here, did it? Alright, let's get this light on. Really? You're gonna make me go all the way back and waste my sanity. How is... Did I even turn the breaker on? I don't even trust myself anymore. Okay, breaker's on. I can see the lights glowing. So please, don't just turn it off again. Make all my work worthless. Now I have the black salt in here to mess with you if you're a wraith. Let's just get it. I, it's not gonna like repel it back and forth any meaningful way but maybe if we put it here and it tries to leave it'll come back in. Now what did I do with the UV? Oh, I threw that at the door along with my other big light. You gotta remember two smudges are here. I don't really need this light in here, I guess I'll just put it up at the door. The problem is, I really need this on me at all times now. And as for photos, I guess if I get lucky with the UV here, I can farm photos, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a perfect game here. We'll see how easy it is to fill the book. Okay. Yes! So, what's this going to mean? Footprint. Footprint. Disturbed salt. Okay, I'm gonna not be too greedy. I'm gonna take all those. So we let's do that, Jesus. Put in UV. Jin. Jin would have been leaving the breaker on. It might be Goryo Dots. Oh, oh look at that. There's There's fingerprints on the post, not on the switch. You turn off like everything in here. Now, sanity. I don't know what. Oh, wait. I don't know what my sanity is going to be. Yeah, not going to be freezing. Did you write? No. So maybe you're a Gorio. A Gorio would stay in its own room, too. Oh, I didn't look for ghost orbs. Alright, you are over here. So I'll keep my UV around the other two salt that might get used. But let's go scan this area for ghost orbs. Maybe it's actually in this tent. Turn my headlight off. Oh god, the dots make us it a little hard. But if it's G Gorio, that's gonna be really annoying. I'm gonna have to send it in the truck for a bit. That's a fly. There, I now I can turn the lights off. Oh well, I, I, this thing's not on the tripod. That's why. So we don't really know. Did I have the thermometer on me? Where where did that go? Was that like a tent noise? Okay, I think, yeah, I think it is this tent. Alright then, we're going to set up both dots over here and the camera. Because I don't see the ghost orbs in this tent. I'm going to turn this off. Pause it and then turn it off. So let's go make sure there's no ghost orbs somehow in here. What I'm going to do is actually put this back on the tripod. I hope I don't get hunted. I don't think I'm in hunt range, but who knows how much my sanity has been going down. Let me get this set up like... I want to do it like this. I also want to do it like this. I don't know what way is better. I guess I could set up two cameras. I want to just do one. Let's set up it this way. So that way we have the whole thing and then a little bit of out here. I don't want to turn the lights back on. So I know my sanity is draining. But let me set up these two and then I think I'm going to run back to the truck. I'm going to set up both these going, and this going both ways will cover this whole area with dots. Okay, do I have the other one on me or no? I didn't even move it. 
Okay, this is the perfect setup here. Both sides of this tent will be covered. So this is the Gorio where you're going to be seeing these dots. Alright, I guess I'm going to get out of here if I can. So the writing book was in there a while and it didn't write, so it wasn't near that room. So we need to get a book in the tent since that is its room. Well, let's sit here for a bit. See if we get Gorio dots. Actually, I don't need night vision. I just need to sit here and watch this and see if we get the dots to come through. Okay, so right. It could be ghost writing. I did not see the ghost orb. Oh, it went through the salt, and I can hear the salt from in here. Well, uh, that's another thing. It's not a wraith, but where did I knew that? Can't be freezing. Can't be spirit box. So it's just writing ghost orb or dots. So may, uh, I did not see the ghost orb, and it, it was really cold in that room. Oh. Let me... What cameras do we have here? One at the dock, and then mine. So no ghost orb, no dots. So let's get the writing book deeper in there. Sanity was pretty low again. So how many photos do I need? I just need four more. And let's try and finish up this game. Let's try and get four more photos. And well, I really need to figure out what this ghost is. It doesn't seem to be a Gorio. It did kind of roam. But it, it would have hit the black salt and then go back to its room. And it hasn't really left its room. I mean, it, it's roamed in this area, but it pretty much has to roam in that area when your, your room is such a small tent. Okay, two crucifixes in here. I'm going to try and cover most of this side and then all of in here. Oh god, but then you're touching doors back here. The, the thing is, let's get this book closer to this side. Oh, and look, you've already written for me. Okay, well that makes my life a lot easier, finally. We got the last evidence. So it is a myling. Now, I, I did look into the myling and the banshee, and the myling, I think, I don't, I need to really figure out how to do the myling test properly. In order to do the myling test, I think you need to throw down your flashlight and then compare your flashlight to the myling sound. So I need to look into that a lot more. I think I had that one wrong. But let me make sure this is writing. We just need a few more photos. Now the thing is, I forgot, you can get these disturbed salt whenever. I thought I was going to lose out on all the salt photos. So we only need one more three star. We know what this ghost is. So maybe I can just finish this up. How do we get this, get this last photo? <laughs> maybe this is how... So yes, it was this... I can delete this if I need to, but... Okay, there's a three star, but then I get a two star? Okay, no, three, three, all three, all three, all three, with the bone. Here is a perfect game on Maple Lodge. Let's get out of here and see how much we made. As long as it doesn't hunt me on the way out. We have two crucifixes, though, so please, <laughs> let me escape. <laughs> there. Alright, see, these are some of my favorite games. This is how professional can be really fun. Welcome back. And really, I hear the most people play like amateur or intermediate, so y'all need to be playing professional. But Nightmare is really where things can be completely different. I, I prefer professional, but as someone who's trying to learn a lot more of the game, Nightmare starts really teaching you about the ghosts a lot more. But 1800, that is really nice. Okay, we're going back in, and look at this, we got Sunrise, which is perfect. I get... I get really lucky sometimes. I try not to choose... Is that the bone? Oh my god, floating bone over here. It's like it's on the grass. I wonder if this will be a photo. Alright. But, I really... Sometimes, I know you can just, like, choose what you want, and you can play professional and just choose your settings, but I try to keep to whatever the developer modes are. That's why I really enjoy doing the weekly now, instead of... I have tried making my own custom challenges, but... I don't know, I feel like the weeklies are, like, the best ones. Alright, again, I didn't look for the breaker. Now let me think about this. I think the voodoo doll can be around here. No voodoo doll. Now I should I should just go ahead and look. Maybe I do, I'll do a wrap around. I don't think I'll hear the ghost. I love this sunrise. This map feels so different on sunrise. Now I'll tell you what, that's why I like playing back to back now. Because even though you're playing on the same map, you can have a really different experience playing on the same map. And this sunrise really changes the feel of this map, and it's awesome. So I love getting a natural sunrise, you know, instead of just, like, putting it on myself. So where's the breaker? It feels so nice because it doesn't feel like I'm out in the dark. It's such a weird, like, I love it. It's such a nicer feeling. It doesn't feel nearly as creepy. Until the ghost shows up, of course. Alright, here's the breaker. 
well, let me turn around because I didn't look for the uh, music box here. No, I think it would maybe be by the fire or it's on this table here by the chair. But if it's not around here somewhere, then it's not going to be there. Yeah, again, I just love how this is looking. And oh, you are somewhere over here. This is the picnic area. Did you bang on something? I guess you banged on this. I'm going to take a photo. Interaction, but I don't know if you left the fingerprints. No, looking at all these, which one is going to have the light switch? No tarot cards. Come on now. But really, look at this. Uh, getting a ghost outside is not so bad. Did I not hit the breaker? Ah, good point. It wasn't making a noise when I walked past it. Let me look in here. No summoning circle. Now, I guess there's still the monkey paw, and I didn't look for the mirror either. Are you making noise out here? Where are you? Oh, you are. I guess I'll take another photo. I guess I'll take another photo. I heard something over there. I guess I'll take another photo. Any EMF 5 off that? And yes, there is. What the hell is going on? Is this something? Oh my god, I'm going to get full photos here. I hope this ghost doesn't just kill me instantly. I'm going to walk away. I don't want to get greedy. I'm going to turn this breaker on. And then I'm even going to walk through here. Turn on the breaker, please. Thank you. Whoa, the tent looked weird there. Now, apparently, the monkey paw was somewhere around here. But that maybe was on this barrel. <laughs> okay, maybe it is just the mirror. Now, I said I'd play with the cursed item. But honestly, if we can get another perfect game here, I will take it. But at least let me see. I wish I had dropped my stuff, because now I'm just going on the biggest chase. But hey, that's another free photo. So we only need three more photos to get a perfect game photo-wise. That's where I'm hearing stuff, but... Paramike, blow out a candle and print a, prevent a hunt. Alright, I kind of want to go for another perfect game, and guess what? It's the mirror anyway, so it's not like I can do anything crazy with it anyway. Also, you can, because of the sunrise, you can see the cabin through the trees. I love the sunrise, man. It is by far my favorite weather, and not even just because it's, like, less creepy. It's just so atmospheric in such a unique way. I hear you banging on stuff over here. If you bang on that cooler again, bang on the table. Do I... I want to take so many photos. Let's go get UV since you're banging on everything. And also, since you're using a table, I guess I'll use a table as well. Oh, well, I can't. I guess I'll use it like this. Alright, I gotta go get more equipment. Okay, sanity is really good. Well, now it goes down to 76, so it's somewhere in there. And then do I bother with any of this? Let's get the evidence in there first so I figure that out. I guess I'm gonna get Ghost Orb. Maybe I'll get some easier stuff in there. I wanted the UV as well. So let me try freezing UV. And then I'll come back for Ghost Orbs. Let's get the book in there in case it writes. Okay, this makes me think it's an Oni with its rapid fire interactions. So maybe it'll do something with the book. Now, I have not seen my breath, but we are in the cold room. I assume this whole area is the room, but it really just was interested in this area. I'm going to try and toss- oh, that worked. Maybe I'll throw it, like, there. <laughs> I should- oh, oh, yeah, see, I should have just done that immediately, and of course it goes away. So, EMF UV, we're in the same exact scenario as last game. Now, I don't want this to be an, an Agorio, Agorio, not Nopake. Please, no more Goyo dots. But it's the same thing. Can't be freezing, right? Well, if it's a gin. Okay, it could be if it's a gin. But no spirit box. It could be ghost orbs. So it's one of these four, but no spirit box. Which I didn't... Did I bring that in? No. But the thing is, if you bang on something again, I can get a photo of it. So, yeah, we don't need to worry... Oh, maybe it will be freezing if it's a gin. Also, the breaker is still on. Maybe I turn the breaker off to see if it gets down to freezing. I mean, it is sunrise. It's really cold, too. Really cold. Let's turn the breaker off for a minute. Uh, I don't want to do that yet until I have defenses in here. Let's leave the book. I kind of want you to do something. Give us a sign. So much for that. You were so active to begin with. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can figure out where that was. I guess it 
bangs on picnic tables? Or is it this pole? I'm gonna take it. Oh, it is on a pole. I didn't know that you could bang on poles. Well, that answers my question. I've always wondered what the hell they've been banging on in certain areas. What photo do we have? I don't... I don't know if I trust getting a... I mean, I can delete it if it doesn't work. Alright. Looking... I'm gonna turn off my headlight. I mean... Maybe I'm not, because I can't... I could not see you! You were right in front of me! That shadow has been hard to see lately. Okay. I'm... Yes. Afraid of... I'm gonna get hunted. What speed is this ghost? Please tell me you didn't see me. Oh my game, why do you lag game? These are all pull doors. Being chased by a ghost, no big deal. This ghost had different speeds though. So, uh, can it even have, oh, you know what? It's a gin. It's a gin, because for one, none of these can have different speeds. So, it was far enough away to do its ability when it saw me. But it's a djinn. No, 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 don't you come over here. How are you this far around here? This is some bullshit. How did you get all the way to this side? All right, what sanity are we, are you, are we at? It's obviously a djinn though, because it was probably near the, whoa, it was probably near the lake, and I was like on the way of the other side. So it got to do its ability for a little bit, but man, oh, we're at zero, and that would explain it. A djinn has that ability to drain your sanity like crazy, so if we went from like 80 to nothing, so this is a djinn. So it is going to go down to freezing, and I even said it was starting to go down to one degree, so okay, we know it's a djinn. I'm going to take three sanity to go up to 90. We'll go in with the... Oh god, we're going to have to go back down, though, while well, the, the mirror I can use to lower my sanity. So let's get the paramic sound, the firelight, and then we'll come back in and get the last one, and then we'll have another perfect game here. And the cursed item will have a use for me. Okay, well, <laughs> good thing I don't need those, because I didn't realize I still had them in my inventory, damn it. I always do that. I guess I didn't realize I had stuff in my inventory as I got hunted there. As I mentioned a lot before, I haven't had a lot of time on a lot of these maps, and also I'm only playing this game like when recording it now, so hopefully over the next months and stuff, I'll get a lot of time in these maps, but it's really fun, because in a lot of ways, a lot of this stuff is old, but it's still really new to me, and I have so much fun coming back to these different maps, and there's going to be so much of this game after Halloween and for Christmas and all the updates and the Bleasdale stuff and even everything after that. So, this game really is just beginning to me. I'm going to leave this over on this side in case it hunts, but... <laughs> Like I said, I think it started its hunt from over there, and I was like right here. So it got to use its ability, and then I think when it got to here, it stopped doing the ability, or when it got in range. But somehow I survived it. But yeah, it was too fast to be any of the other ghost. Also, I guess I could just prove it's freezing by checking again. And yeah, there we go. And also, the breaker's been on the whole time. Now you did turn off this light, which... Oh my god. Can I remember? There, it's over here. Didn't the switch used to be over there? I guess I'm remembering the old Maple Lodge. Alright, well I took all my sanity and this ghost started doing nothing. So I'm gonna sit all the way back here, try and get this paramic, and also hope the uh, candle goes out. Okay, how long did that take? 20 seconds? So no paramic sound anymore. We gotta get the crucifix, so we'll get the other one in here. Actually, it's probably going to be, oh god, this is kind of like a hard one, but if I had, the, this is actually only the tier 2, and the tier 3 should cover even more range. So I don't know, I'll put it dead center, and I'll get the other one in here. What are you doing over there? Yeah, let's go get even all the other candles in here, and then the other crucifix. I'll put all the candles around and get these done. Okay, even though it's a gin, sanity stayed up. But yeah, no fire, light, or crucifix, so luckily I have all these other ones that I can bring. I can even bring in the other one, but I'm going to bring in that crucifix now. And then I guess at some point I'll have to come back and drain my sanity with the mirror. And actually, I thought to finally turn on all these lights instead of just going back in the dark. How have you not blown out that candle? You're doing stuff all around here. Come on, quit rolling all these cans and just knock out a candle. 
Maybe I should put them together if I think you're over here. That's another thing. If you're over here... Well, that crucifix kind of covers it. It really sucks. I don't know if I should, like... I'm gonna have to get lucky with this crucifix, almost, with such a big area. This might actually be hard. Let me see how far this crucifix goes. Hmm. I want it to cover, like, almost all of that. And how far will it go this way? Pretty good. So then, okay, how far does it go this way? Not to right here. So then... I guess I'll just cover... I guess I'll just put it here and hope for the best. Maybe a little further. Okay, then I think I saw one of the candle go candles go out. Thank you. Can I uh, get a photo of that, though? I don't, I don't... I need my EMF to see if it's going off, so I don't want to take a photo. I don't know what I did my with my EMF. Nice coffee cup. You're still banging on stuff. I really wish I knew what I did with my EMF. Maybe I threw it down over here. Or... Oh, I right. I brought the EMF back, unfortunately. Yeah. So, okay. I need you to, like, maybe blow out another candle so I can take a photo. I can take a photo of the crucifix if it comes into that. Man. Okay, let's go get the EMF back. I'm gonna drop the camera down in the middle, so try and remember the camera's there. I'm gonna go get the EMF, and I'm gonna bring the mirror over here to drain my sanity when I want to. Alright, bringing the mirror back over. I don't need to use it because we know where the ghost is. But when I finally need to drain my sanity, I'm going to. No. Okay. Gotta get this last photo. And the gin could drain my sanity at any point here. Maybe I'll relight these. And try and get the... I need, I need a photo from something here. Oh! There we go. And of course, you do that. Oh, and then I do that! Why do I think I know what I'm doing with my inventory? Okay, well, we don't even need the ghost to. Yep, I, I don't take a photo of the candles, even though it's an EMF. Oh my god, okay, I can take a photo of that, though. Thank you. Perfect game. I didn't screw it up. I hate how some things you can take photos of and some things you can't, and that was the book. Oh my god. See, this is like Poltergeist level throws. Maybe the... Jin's doing its ability, though, and draining my sanity. It's been over in this area a lot. I'm hoping... One of these two crucifixes will get it. May oh, that one is way over further. That one too close, then? No, that one should be good if it's hanging out around these benches. Now, I don't have a smudge on me. Alright, I'm gonna go back to using this light. Where are you? Oh, you're back here. Can you please stay near a damn crucifix? You actually kind of are. So, if it was a phantom, the phantom's ability is like the whole line of sight thing. If you can see it, it'll drain your sanity faster. But with the djinn, I think it's just... I need to look into that again. But it has something to do with, like, I think if you're just around the djinn, randomly it'll just drain 20 of your sanity. So that might be happening a lot here. I want a smudge. So let's go see what my sanity is out of curiosity with this gin, and I'm gonna get us another smudge for safety, and then finally drain my sanity here and try and get this crucifix to work. Oh my god, see, we are down pretty far, and I've been in the light, so it did drain- I mean, we had a ghost event, but I think there was at least one gin ability. Alright, I'm going with smudges, and then hoping for the best again. I really should think of a hiding spot, though. Maybe there's someone in, like, this tent? No. What about this tent? I hate to, like... Oh, well, that is kind of good. But I... I don't know. I'm not gonna get in there in time. Maybe I'll just sm smudge out here, go through here, block that door, and make my way. Let's use the mirror once to drain my sanity. Yeah, we know where it is. So there, that's 25 down. I'm gonna try and hang out and see if we can see the crucifix get used. We don't need a photo of anything. This is all we need is this one objective. Give us a sign. Who is this? Helen Ramirez. Helen, give us a sign. There's bears here. I really hope that you stay around these benches. I think this is all considered one area, other than the docks out there. I think that's considered a room, and then this is the picnic area. I was looking at a map of this place to figure out the 
cursed item, so. Yes. Okay, do I get hunted anyway? I think I will for fun, or at least try to. I'm, I'm gonna stay here until I get hunted or use up all the crucifixes. Let me turn this light back on. So, wow, with a big area like this, the tier 2 really covered it a lot, but I'm trying to get to those tier 3. See how, how big of an area that covers, because I assume it gets even bigger. Okay. There, headlamp on, headlamp off, main light. Okay, no more using the headlamp here. And also, you broke that light. You got mad at me turning it back on, but guess what? I have the sunlight this time. You did appear over there, which feels away from the crucifix. Give us a sign, Helen. I like how crazy th the throws you've had. I'm gonna do something risky. I'm gonna bring this over here. So now, the area is much smaller. I think I heard something over there. Okay, let's see about that ability. I, it seems pretty fast. Okay, right, the smudge there. You just stay on the other side of that door. I don't like the look of that. I didn't see her. I don't think she's coming. All right, let me get to my little bean spot. No one's over here. Do you think I have time to light this? I'm gonna try. Uh, okay, let me get in there. Oh. oh. Wow, well, I don't hear her at all though. She's not over here. I just wanted to be comfy while I was in my hiding spot. I don't think she's gonna come by though. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna be writing this out on my own, but two perfect games? I mean, that sounds pretty good. Maybe I am actually getting a little bit better at this game. I don't know when the hunt's gonna end here. Oh, okay, it's ended. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and see how much we made for this game. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip. Tier 3 Paramike, we could have used that that game. Now, the Tier 3 Paramike I have seen, and I think it's actually really good, so that's going to be interesting to play with. 22. Now, we got a weekly, so 500, so 600 bonus there, so... Okay, but still, I, I love it when it adds up like that. But we are going through these levels a bit quicker. There's another Tier 3 item. I just wonder... I'm going to look. When do we get the Tier 3 Crucifix? Level 90. I thought... Maybe it is one of the last things you get. Should we go? Yeah, we should just go ahead and get this. I'm gonna put that on the loadout. There. Tier 3 Paramike. Don't even have to think about it. What do we have coming up? We're 72, 74. Okay, motion sensor. There, that'll be a fun thing to mess with. And then, I don't know, 62. Oh, we... No, I, <laughs> I've had that one unlocked for a while. All right. So I guess, yeah, level 90. What about the smudge? Level 85. So I guess that crucifix is the last thing you unlock. I thought it was the smudge, but no, the crucifix. Here I am talking about it, but it's, it's literally the last thing you unlock at level 90, which I, I do know level 90 is the max level. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.